to this week's episode. For those of you who are watching for the first time, my name is Sofian and this is my channel Weave to Story. So you might be wondering where I am this week. I obviously am not in Portugal, so it's been a bit of a bummer where I haven't got my keys yet to the apartment, but nevertheless, I decided that I am going to spend somewhere in Europe and I decided Scotland is going to be the place. So here I am in my Airbnb accommodation and I really am loving it because it's absolutely silent and there's no one around here. I know for most city folks, they uh, might not like it because it's too isolated. The isolation over here is amazing because you know, my nearest neighbour is a 5 minutes drive from where I am and I'm surrounded with mainly green spaces, trees, the hills, sheep and farm animals. So for those of you who might know me, especially my friends and family members, they know I'm, I like to cook and I like to eat. And one of the things I, just, I thought, you know, since I'm here, and especially where the nearest supermarket is probably about 20 minutes drive from here, I decided to have my own food supply. And one of the dishes I'm going to cook is this dish called Roti John. So Roti John has a bit of a interesting uh, history to it. Um, this was actually inspired by one of my food tours when I was in Turkey recently and we were talking about food origins and food history and I was sharing this the name of this dish Roti John to my tour guide and I thought why not this might be the best chance to actually cook it so this dish is believed to have derived during the British occupation of Singapore back in the 19 50s and 60s. So what happened was the British army were based in the north of Singapore and when the, uh, the army officers when they get their paychecks um, they tend to they will party and of course they have to eat something to curb the hangover. So one of the things they did was to go down to the city center and they would order a burger. So in back in those days, we were talking about 1950s and 60s where there's no such thing as McDonald's or KFC or any fast food chain. Um, they would go down to a Malay stall and ask the, the storeholder to make a burger, a pseudo burger, where it's basically a, a baguette bun and an omelette. And the army officers would go down quite frequently to a cent central Singapore and have uh, ordered this dish. So it came to a point where the guy, the, the Malay stall knew their faces and they say, Roti, John. So, Roti, do you want bread? John. So that's how it came about. So this dish came from its humble beginnings where it was just an omelette and a bun. And now it's evolved in the sense where you add meat and some chili peppers and curry powder along with it. And I remember when I was young, I would eat it for breakfast. But sometimes, you know, in Asia or particularly in Southeast Asia, there's not really a rule where we can eat um, this certain dish for breakfast or lunch or dinner. We can eat any time of the day. But I remember my grandma would prepare this for breakfast and I always look forward to it, especially when it's, you know, when it's freshly cooked. And I'm going to go to the kitchen. So I'll, I'll like you to join me and I'll show you the ingredients and how to make this simple dish. Let's go. Scottish kitchen and as I mentioned I'm gonna make roti john so the ingredients are fairly simple and this is what we need first we need to make the bun which is of course we need to get a baguette and I have two eggs or they say eggs <laughs> some chilies um, the cold peppers over here 
it's just you don't have to do it you don't ne necessarily need to use it but i like to add a bit of spice in it onions or they call it ingings over here and some minced meat so <laughs> For watching this week's video i hope you like it and if you do like it please hit the like button and i would greatly appreciate if you can subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell for further notification so here's me saying goodbye from scotland and i hope to see you in the next episode ciao ciao bye